Ooh, what is up, guys? And of course, welcome to another Pokemon Wi Fi battle with your true course, the Scarender. And today we're gonna face off, of course, against our good friend and buddy, Sinon. And, uh, yeah, I'm expecting a tough game. I'm not bringing, as always, really, you know, the heaviest of meta. That's not the point of my uploads. At least not, you know, the tears or sets of that kind of don't use. Uh, I want to share, basically, ideas with you guys and try to be as complex as I can be. So, with all that said, we're basically waiting for him here to kind of... There we go. To invite us to the battle! A glorious one of that! And, um, yeah, I'm actually doing this live, clearly, and I'm not doing this as a streamer like that, which means I will share as many viewpoints as I'll, I can get. And also should be noted that due to me not bringing the heaviest kind of meta, I will struggle. I should struggle. Um, depending on, of course, what Sino decided to bring, but knowing him, he wants to have a good battle, which means that he's going to bring the best of the best as he can probably do, or it's going to be very memeable, but we're at this so early in the meta, I'm expecting him to go, you know, basically, um, what do you call it, monstrous against me. But I'm using Magyarna, I do believe I have stepped up my game a little bit. This is a clear trick room team, the focus here is to get Wishy Washy, Krabamol, and Dewblade to have the massive damage output, uh, but I have a few options here, which I like. The issue I have is, of course, that the tier itself is really, really slow at the moment, or the meta itself is really, really slow at the beginning. So, um, I'm forcing a lot of Pokemon to be slow, and I'm still gonna face Pokemon that are clearly slower. Oh, dear God. <sighs> this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. That's the heavy meta. That's the heavy meta. And I really, really don't have a necessarily good switch in from the get go. I have a few options, clearly. Um, the Zixi Tree is just the best, really, you know, since I don't have a proper switch in for that, that's just gonna be the best for me. Um, he's gonna start off with Skarmory, and there's really no reason for him not to bring Skarmory from the get-go. Uh, so with that in mind, we're gonna start off with Magyarna. Not gonna go for a Trick Room directly, because it feels super, super obvious, but at the same time, if I can get my Legion or wishy washy in freely, uh, I should do fairly well. Wishy Washy basically sweep him, but I need to trick room up because he does not want to take Hydro Pumps that well. Actually, even Ice Beam to some extent do well, though I kind of want to knock out the Marowak before I stop spamming or start spamming Ice Beams. Um, but we have a three way of setting up, of course, trick rooms. Um, both Reuniclus, Magyarna, and Trevenant are able to pull that off, and I hopefully they can actually fall set up. Which means that, you know, once they actually go down at least set up a trick room before they fall. Uh, and basically all I have to hope for is the best. Cena gonna start off with Mirage. That is my! That is mine! Mirage is my freaking, and I can't really stress this enough, it's my flying on, you son of a bitch! So we know exactly what set this is, and um, it shouldn't be too menacing for me actually. Uh, let's hope we set up a Dragon Dance from the beginning, though he should fear Fleur Cannon. Let's find out. Or he goes directly for Earthquake. Goes directly for Earthquake, fair enough. As this should do a lot of damage. Ooh, ooh yeah, yeah, that looks the part. So we're gonna set up a Trick Room, so should probably try to KO him in return here. That kind of stinks, actually. It kind of stinks. Now... He's definitely gonna fear the Fleur Cannon from here on out. Um, yeah, I guess I'm bring. Uh, he's gonna switch out here. He's not gonna sack it. If anything, I'm expecting Skarmory. Actually, with that in mind, I should probably go for a Bolt Switch here. I know he's gonna try to soak this hit. Makes no sense for him not to. So there we go. It. And that's my cat, Do you, oh, you guys heard that? So there's Garmory. I am live for which I find is very, very frustrating. Should definitely have been... Uh... Ooh! <laughs> that... That is a hit! Oh, dear God! That is a mo glorious, glorious hit right there. Um, That means... That means... Huh. I either... Huh. Oh, fuck it. Let's bring whack -a -mole. Let's bring the Crabominal. He has no switch in for this. He has no switch in for this. The only thing I can see him do is try to survive a few Trick Room turns. Um, 
that's really all he can do. I'm still gonna go Rice Hammer because I need to lower my speed a little bit. I did some damage there. That's your response to me. That is your response to me, Xenon. Look at look at Crabominal's face. It's like, oh yeah, oh yeah. Two turns in, and I already got you covered, bitch. Throw clear. If he plays this smart, he's bringing Xenon and Marowak. Um, he has to stall out this turn somehow. Um, and clearly, uh, Earthquake is my ideal play because of Marowak, but at the same time, I don't want to get an unnecessary damage on my uh, Crabominal, at least not yet. Let's see what happens. Alright, so you would draw in that, fair enough. Here comes Xenon, that is the Marowak. Should definitely have predicted something like that. I said it will still do a lot of damage. I mean, mm, mm, mm. not very effective. Yeah, didn't look like that. This little didn't look like that. All right. So my guess is to try to sack it, or he brings back the. Oh, I should probably go for another ice hammer. Thinking about it. Oh, I really want to go for earthquake first, but I'm not the one going to do for the predictions play. At least not yet. At least not yet. So, alright, switches that out, you son of a bitch, you smug bastard. <laughs> so, alright, he's doing everything in his power head to try to survive me. And I kinda get that. I mean, the trick room is still going for me. Which means, yet again, Ice Hammer is gonna be a factor for him. Um, so, either sack this, or he brings back the Marowak. Or brings back the Whack. I don't <laughs> Can you say bring back the Whack? I don't know. Uh, but that's uh, all right. Bring Skarmory. He's gonna sack it straight on at it, uh, which means that well, actually Trevenant got a whole lot better because now we don't have to fear. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm fine with this. Though I will lose the trick room. I will lose the trick room here, which will suck. Um, I have actually no idea if we want to bring back Xenon. Let's find out. Uh, Nifilego is also an option. I don't believe Nifilego knocks us out. No, he wouldn't do that switch. Marowak should be plenty to actually KO me if it is Fit Club, but then we got 63. Alright, brings the whack. Whack. You know, with Shadow Ball and all that in mind, it's not the ideal situation to be in right here. Um, haven't that said. Don't want to sack whack him all. He needs to go. Or my guess is that he's so likely to go for a will o wisp, since he will necessarily outspeed here. Should I sack Plutia? I feel so early. But it's not like I necessarily need her, and I know that. And I can get a hit on here. Um. Ah. Damn. Actually, let's do that. Let's bring in... If he goes for Shadow Shadow Club, that's alright. But I think he go for a Willow. That's the ideal play, just overall, basically. So, I'm gonna bring in my Jubilate here. As he goes directly for the Flare Blitz. So, that's okay. I do believe that's gonna do over 50%. Yeah, yeah, it's up there. It's up there. So, the question is, does he sack them on, or does he try to outmaneuver me? Um, I have no reason not going for sword stats from this position. He knows Shadow Sneak is coming, so I'd rather get the max damage outfit, right? What is his switch in? Buffalo, I was gonna say, but it's not Buffalo, it's Tapu Bulo. <sighs> Actually, two Shadow Sneaks kind of sounds great, let's do that. Alright, the withdrawals, clearly. Uh, Tapu Bulo, Zixi Tree, alright. So gonna try to get that beast boost going. We're gonna get some great damage here. And Aldaris kinda soak him. Or I don't know how much damage 63 will do, but I kinda hope it goes for a bolt switch. Kinda hope it does that. Yeah, exactly. So we can soak that hit, no doubt. And I can just hope for Tapu Bulu. 
For I want to see. Bring me that hapu buru. <laughs> I'm I'm really trying here. Getting Skarmory out of the way is such a huge perk for me. Um, because his only real Pokemon that can knock us out to is um. Or I mean, Nifalego kind of makes sense with neutral damage, but I think that his um, Marowak is the only way he's going to be able to, of course, grasp this kind of situation. Uh, which I feel he kind of missed out on there. I'm gonna just set up a trick room. I kind of have to do it. Uh, I am. He could have Dragon Dance. He should have Dragon Dance. Uh, yes, C move! Alright. That's scary. What will we see now? What will you have? C power. Your C power is Devastating Drake. Alright, so let's see. <clears throat> I hope we can take this. I really hope we can. Oh no, Alderis! Ooh! <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> oh, it's not over. It is not over. It is not over, Sinon. You have not faced trees such as this. I am max defensive, so that really did sting on me and did a lot of damage. Kinda glad I have Rest Lumber right now because I don't think he could outmaneuver me here. As long as I'm on the Trick Room, my Trevenant should do fairly well because I have access to actually a proper recovery. So, right, we draw that and that's the right thing to do. Here comes Tapu Bulu. So we get the grassy search up, so that's just splendid. Um, and I get the rest off, which is just splendid too. So we're back in action. The thing is here, I'm not sure what his Tapabulu can do. Should be said, I do not do as much to him either. Should really be mentioned. I really don't do that much to him either. Um, damn, I really wish I had some kind of pivots here. Uh, I'm gonna bring Ether, mainly because I don't think he can do all that much to me. And if he tries to defeat me, then I get a pretty proper switch him back to my uh, Crabominal, which I kind of feel I have to go for. So right, he goes for Woodhammer. That's good. I think that's his best attack, and we do survive it. We do survive it. I can't really stress this now. We do survive that. What? What? Grassy what? That is that is awesome. <laughs> uh, well, I have no reason not going for Jarrah Ball here. We are in Trick Room, which means I should have Iron Head. I don't know why I have Jarrah Ball in a Trick Room team with this guy. But he has to switch out nonetheless. Um, so, just basically, he can survive the turns he wants to. I could probably pull out Jubble, but... In the end here, what's the point? I'm, I'm having too much fun as, as it is. The Woodhammer did not knock me out! <laughs> the Jubal like, yeah! <laughs> Hammer versus Sword. <laughs> Two Swords. We actually soaked that hit very well. Surprisingly well. Then again, it's a Violite, you know, it's kind of do, do what it does. Alright, this switches that out. I really want to see... Alright, it brings the tree, so that's okay. I don't know how much the Jarable will do, since I am clearly the fastest one. Whoa! <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Boom! Dear God! Alright. It looks like another Jarable will actually kill him. It definitely looks like it. Who knew Trickery could be so effective? That is clearly just me being lucky too. It's very matchup dependent when it comes to Trick Room, but I think I've got the turns that matter. And you know, the roll with Flying on there clearly helped. I, I'm not sure how much devastating Drake's roll really was. I mean, if he has. He promised Dragon Claw, so it's not the, you know, the, the strongest devastating Drake. I think, yeah, one turn left of Trick Room, right? 
So he basically has to, if if he's smart, he brings in the the um, this what do you, what do you call it the um, the Marowak mainly because I think he can take a hit. Um, yeah, there we go. Because I am, we both are super slow, so it shouldn't be the strongest hit ever created. Yeah, looks about right. Hmm. I should definitely follow that myself, actually. So, right, the Twisted Dimensions back to normal, clearly. And we're gonna go for Shadow Snake. The thing is here, the momentum is at my side. Even though if he decides to bring something else, such as, of course, Nifalego and stuff like that, I still have the momentum. I still can shift around. It's not as much as I desire, but I definitely can do stuff. Please, sack it, Xenon. You don't have proper recovery, and your Tapu Bolo will fall versus me. He has to make an offensive play, because as long as he doesn't do that, my Dewblade do get extra HP. No, Flying on kind of makes sense here. Flying on does make sense. Right, withdraws that, goes to Mirage. He is really trying to shift the momentum. And I applaud him for that, because I'm being very predict predictable. I was going to say fickable, but I'm not fickable. Alright, so Earthquake will clearly take us out from this range. The rest of the range is gone, which means Earthquake will be more effective towards us. And... Uh, we already know... That's the thing, though. Do I need priority? I cannot do, because Zuxitree and uh, his Marowak falls to Shadow Snake over and over and over and over again. I think I said it one time too many. Mm -hmm. Already wasted. Yeah, it's basically back to Alvaris, my um, my Trevenant. Uh, right, which 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 draw that too? Back to his Marowak. So that's a good play on him. Good thing for him. I didn't go for you know the obvious play there. Right. Same thing with Aldaris, it walls the majority of his team, which means he's forced to go for a Flare Blitz. Whoa, we kick in the Harvest! We kick in the Harvest, and we know it's Fiqua, which means he definitely will take us out. So I'm better off bringing Genesis here, my uh, my Reuniclus, because I'm forcing him... Actually, that was kind of a dumb play. He can just as well go for... Ah, wish I could regret my choice here. He'd probably go for Shadow Bone, that's his ideal play. So I'm being super dumb here because Shadowbone will do a lot of damage to my Reuniclus. Please go for Flare Blitz. Damn it. Ooh, wow, that's... 1 HP though! 1 HP! That's awesome. Uh, Alright, so it's trying to go for Trick Room. He has to knock me out. I'm, I have nothing here. It's alright. That was a bad play on my side. I couldn't sack Trevenant though. The one thing I couldn't do was second Trevenant. Come on, Sinon, you know you're faster. There we go. Um, mm -hmm. That sucked. That was a dumb play from my side. Uh, I can go to Legion now, though, so it's not completely terrible. Time to school him. Thing is here, I I am going to be slower. I am definitely going to be slower, but I should still do a lot of damage. Or I go for U-turn. Basically, he can knock me out of school form, and if he loses. Um, yeah, that's the thing though. If he loses his Pokemon, he's kind of lost the game completely. <clears throat> because then he has no proper response for my Trevenant. Hmm. Make my choice! Just bring it in like, yeah, what now? Ah, pump it. But don't you know, pump it up. You got to pump it up. Don't you know, Hydro Pump. You got to Hydro Pump. Don't you know. Let's see how much a Specs Hydro Pump does. Yeah, let's miss that! Oh, frustrating! Ah, damn it! And I'm locked with you! Damn it! Fuck my life. Just not a lot. Uh, 
Okay. Focus. <sighs> now that sucked. Alright, I'm predicting a double here, but I think we'll just go for the damage. Um, so I'm gonna sack Plutia here. Uh, right goes directly for Woodhammer, and it's okay. Because that gave him a free opportunity for another trick room. That's what I gotta do. I mean, it's either that to bring Ether yet again. Huh, yeah. I mean, if I were to... No, 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 trick room it is. I think I get the most out of it anyway. The thing is, between us two, I should be able to win. I don't. He had to. He haven't showed me yet to have Mega Horn or anything like that. And even at that, I'm really not that worried because ooh, he has Taunt. It's kind of okay though. I can still go for Shadow Claw. Nature Madness, alright. So that's a 50% cut, right? Yeah, basically. And uh, see, a Shadow Claw does. Oh, that wasn't too impressive. I'm still not too worried though. Because Woodhammer is still his best attack. Ah, that kind of stinks, though. Who knew it's will make sense? Guess we keep on attacking them. Keeps going for Nature Madness. Interesting. Woodhammer should come any time now. Ooh, you're no longer boosted. I have to go for rest. Close the turn again, it's okay. You're not getting boosted anyway. Oh, he has leftovers, of course. Hmm. <clears throat> All right. Let's see if it goes another wood hammer. Now it's not boosted, so I'm pretty sure I should take it even better. Uh, goes to nature madness instead. I'm still not sure that his uh, wood hammer would kill me. Let's find out. I kind of want him to reset the grassy terrain, actually. This game turns out to be a lot longer than I was anticipating. Though clearly, you know, that my prediction there with Shadow Bone vs. Reuniclus kind of sped up things for me and might disadvantage really. Take this! Come on! No! That's GG. Ah, oh, that sucks. That sucks. That sucks. That is GG. Ah, oh, damn it. That is not what I needed. That is not what I needed. I fought without the boost and I should be fine from that area. Oh, it really, really, really stinks. Come on, come on! It's not over, it is not over, but 
Oh, I'm not in a good spot. I'm definitely not. I mean, it's basically 63 comes in and that's GG. That's the spot we are in and that's not a good spot. That is not a good spot. Come on, sack it already. No, you want to. You know as well as me. Lose, tap a bolo, then bring Zuxy 3, and then sweep with Thunderbolt. That's all that's left. Come on. Or we could just wait. I wonder what he's thinking. He does withdraw it. Okay. Goes to Mirage, sacking it. Alright. Interesting play. Like I said, there's 63 comes in and that's GG. The only way I win is if I pull a trick room somehow. Yeah, let's go for Sterling to knock me out. So I go for a quick. Goes to Shadowbone. Alright, so we knock out this Pokemon too. I think. Yeah, we survived somehow. Alright. Um well, like I said here, Zuxi Tree comes in and that's a wrap, basically, because I really just can't touch it. We're raising Tapu Bolo again. Tapu Bolo also kinda of wrap up the game for him. Ah, there we go. Really can't do anything. It's kind of frustrating. I won't really deny that. I mean, I basically have to try to survive a uh, wood hammer and kind of hope somehow that um, because I will be knocked out of my school form. But the question is, due to it being super bulky, can it take a hit? Actually, survive a wood hammer and then retaliate? That is what I'm, I'm, I'm sure of. So we're gonna go for Specs Ice Beam, really hope to take this. Oh, come on, Legion, Legion, do it! Oh, it falls fast, yeah, that's wrap. fuck. <sighs> Damn it, my misplay was just opening up that game, I am feeling terrible right now. Oh, I played so well too! I'm not mad at him like that, I'm just frustrated at myself, because I had the game. I really just could have sacked Trevenant there against Marowak, and I would be fine with Reuniclus there, just still kicking, and would set up a trick room much more safer than my own Trevenant are doing. And I kind of feel like I messed up the game, and uh, basically was a lead way for me losing it. So it is what it is. I'm going for another trick room just in case he screws up. I do believe a wood hammer is close enough to kill me at this point. Oh, yeah, it sucks. I defeated myself. That's <laughs> Though you know Sino did a few good predictions here back and forth, trying to outmaneuver my offensive, and actually it did do well. But it was basically in the end it was basically my bad call which just let it open up the game for him. And me just being pushed back. And I hate playing like this because I'm basically waiting to lose. This is a lack of offensive to kinda of push me back. I'm basically waiting for him to actually do this. 
Ah, uh, took a bit too long for my taste. Don't get me wrong, Sinon, you did a very good game. I'm just frustrated myself. So I'm sorry if I come up like that because clearly you did all the right calls there and actually survived the matchup, and that was in the end is what it matters. I'm just annoyed that I didn't do better. I should have done better here, really. I should definitely make you some predictions. I just kept on doing the, you know, the, the most likable play, and you just did the defensive responses over and over again, and I lost to it. So, ah, it sucks. I should be much better than that. I should definitely be much better than that. So, like I said, no offense towards you. I'm just a bit, bit frustrated with myself. <laughs> but anyway, guys, make sure to go check out Sinon's channel, which, of course, is linked down below. Um, and, yeah. Other than that, I, I, I enjoy the game. Like I said, frustrated at that one particular play. I didn't know how well, bad it would transpire, but as you guys saw, it just basically meant that I could no longer set up a trick room. And that, well, like you said, that's a little way for actually just losing overall. So, my game had died with that switching. That was a very bad call because I don't have the possibility of actually doing those bad calls for my own sake. So, see you now, GG, and uh, make sure, like I said, to check out his channel. And I will be see you guys, of course, in the next video. So until then, guys, of course, take care.